Basement Tape. All right. Basement Tape 65. You think we're out of the 56s, but we're not. We're still going strong. 1956 tops. Uh, still putting out cards. Still spitting them out, as they say. Not a lot of uh, baseball cards per year at this point because Topps has uh, tightened its grip. But, uh, of course, Topps uh, going to throw out here a couple of non-sports um, episodes because that's what Topps did. Topps wasn't uh, just trying to get you hooked on baseball and sell you just baseball stuff. Topps was trying to get you hooked on anything and everything. It's hooks sunk deep into uh, the youth of America in a very interesting time. We were heading west in the mid-50s. We were watching TV, and we were going to rock and roll concerts for the first time. We were putting our bobby socks on and our poodle skirts, our blue jeans, our jackets, our leather jackets, and we were we were greasing up our hair, and we were headed out there we were socializing out there in our race cars we were uh going to sock hops and ice cream establishments and all that stuff so anyway enough about the 50s we know about uh fonzie and potsy and richie we know about uh greece danny and kanicki we know about uh american graffiti and all that stuff but what was really captivating america at this time was Elvis Aaron Presley. Elvis 1956 tops Elvis Presley cards. Huge deal. Elvis was making music. Uh, he was swinging his hips. So he freed his hips. And as soon as he freed his hips, the rest followed. And uh, boy, tops was brilliant, right? So baseball, um, boomer boys. But uh, Elvis Presley lured in the girls and the guys because if you didn't want to date Elvis or be Elvis's baby mama, you certainly wanted to be Elvis himself. I have 11 of these cards, according to this Beckett OPG, and he is doing all sorts of things in these cards. So let's uh, learn a little bit more on Beckett. Beckett says it's produced by Tops. says there's 66 total cards, 8.8. $18 average value, total value $540. The complete set of 66 will cost you between $350 and $700. There is a discrepancy. Some cards are worth more, which is interesting for a non sports set. Uh, but uh, the Elvis Presley checklist is a big one. Uh, Elvis Presley card number one, go, 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 Elvis. And uh, relaxing at rehearsal, uh, Elvis card number three, also a big one. So, Again, I have 11 of these. Let's see what uh, TCDB has to say. This is a R710-1, 1956 Tops Elvis Presley. These are uh, the bigger cards as well because it's still 1956. And, of course, the uh, R710 is post-1948. Uh, let's see. I guess it just says packaging here. There is Elvis Presley box submitted by Dixie. Five-cent packs there. Uh, one cent packs as well. There's an acoustic guitar floating about the one cent pack. And there is Elvis with his acoustic guitar and a five cent pack. So if you are a sport card collector in 2024, this is one of those sets where you're also competing against the Elvis Presley phenomenon and trying to, you know, pick up cards on the cheap. It isn't easy because there is somebody on a parallel universe in a different hobby that will also be after these cards. So uh, that's one of those things. I know we run into that sometimes with trains and and various other things, but um, that is a consideration here when trying to compile this set is you're competing with an entire different hobby. And those people aren't necessarily people you would want to invite to your house because they probably wouldn't leave. Card number one, go, 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 Elvis. Rocking it out with his acoustic guitar. Uh, uh, ask Elvis, how did you get your first start? So there is a, <clears throat> a headline on the back of the card uh, that asks us, uh, that, that allows you to ask Elvis Presley card, uh, uh, ask Elvis Presley some questions. And there's a switchboard operator there. Really fun little graphic at the top. And it says, a couple of years ago, I was at a picnic back home in Memphis. On the stage was a hillbilly singer 
who had lots of rhythm. I just naturally began to sing along, and people turned around and watched me instead of the performer. He was kind of mad and dared me to come on the stage and try my luck. I took him up on it, and it seemed the folks liked me. From there, I got club dates and one-night stands, and my career began. And that's from Elvis. Uh, and this is the Bubbles, Inc., uh, printed in USA, 1956, Elvis Presley Enterprises, all rights reserved. So it's saying these are bubbles, but uh, it also says there's top. So there's a story there. I apologize for not knowing what that story is. And bubbles will pop up again in some non-sports stuff. But uh, anyway, here's the Elvis cards. The back's slightly uh, different uh, depending on the card, I think. Uh, but maybe not because there's Ask Elvis on the back of every card, it looks like. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's Elvis as a blonde, Elvis as a brunette, uh, Elvis looking in mirrors with a mirror behind him, uh, the old double mirror Elvis thing. So, uh, it is really, uh, a, a moment in time when the biggest thing in the world wasn't Willie Mickey and the Duke. It was Elvis Presley and his movies and his music and everything in between Elvis uh, being portrayed as a real American hero here. And uh, anyway, that's the 1956 tops Elvis Presley bubbles R710 dash one set uh, a slice of America in a time when everything was more simple in our country.